Hello, Mr. Almost on Christ. Bless you. Um, so, this is, um, this is one of the pages, right, that, that we made. So, just quickly to show you how, how to post on, on Facebook and everything else. Um, I'll, I'll obviously a lot of you know how to you use Facebook and, and, and make posts. But, <clears throat> like, I'm going to go be going over with you guys about scheduling. So, one of the things that I want to teach you guys real quick is, is that, obviously, we're going to be scheduling things in advance. We want to fill up a whole year's worth of content so then we can do more concentrated, concentrated campaigns. So, this is a test post. Very simple. You see where it says publish? Um, you can do it off your phone as well. I, I, I'm pretty sure you can, if I remember correctly. But if not, just work off your computer. You, you see next to publish, it has that triangle. You click that triangle. It says schedule, backdate, save draft. Put schedule. Now here, you can choose from the calendar where you want to put it. You know, you can go a ahead many years, 2019, everything else. You put, you put the day... You put the time, right, and then you hit schedule. Boom. That's it. Very simple. Now, as far as composing a, 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 um, a post, we want to make sure that it's uh, controversial. First, this is the format. Controversial statement or question. You want it, you want it to be something that will make people think. Don't don't go too scriptural. Obviously, you know, like for example, because the, because the, the the picture itself, whatever we put up with the video, is gonna be um, scriptural anyhow. But let's say in Argentina, right? You know, you we put you know the, the content is about ga gauchos are of the tribe of Naftali. Then the statement could be, you know. Um, Bueno, the same thing. Los, los sabías que los gauchos. But then again, that's that's a that's a that's a question. But you can say, los Arge la la gente de Argentina y Chile no saben su no no conocen su herencia. Boom, that's powerful. People will be like, what the hell are you talking about? Um, well, or another question we will be, um, sabían ustedes que los gauchos vienen de Israel? Boom. That's another. That, that's a powerful question. Like, what the hell are you talking about? That makes people want to click, want to find out more. So, powerful, controversial statement or question. Then, always put. Um, obviously, you attach. Attach content, which is whatever you you plugged in the image or video. Then you want to put. Then you want to always put www. And obviously, it's not going to be in all caps, but uh, to learn, para aprender más, visiten www.israelunite.org, o si quieren, le pueden poner, um, it, it, oh crap, le, le, lo, lo que pueden hacer es que le pueden poner, El, el enlace, the, the link to the, the Known the Kingdom YouTube channel. You, you can put that. Um, right? And then, and then you want to give some spacing for all the hashtags. Because all the hashtags you want to put at the bottom... Um, so it looks, it looks neat. Because then even if you do 12, at, at the very least it looks neat. It doesn't look crazy. And, and people don't mind it because, you know, it has some type of order to it. Um, now how the hashtags work is the following. I'm going to go to, uh, because a lot of people, please, 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 please do not make up hashtags. We're, we're going to be looking up for, uh, uh, looking up the best hashtags per 
country or per, per tribe, whatever they're into. But this is what hashtagging does. Hashtags are movements. So when you hashtag, um, for example, if I click on Israel United in Christ, it's going to take whoever clicks on it to all the posts that have ever had had Israel United in Christ in it. But we instead, though, we're going to be hashtag, hashtagging Israel Unido en Cristo. Um, let me show you another hashtag. You know, Israel, right? Hashtag Israel. Now, everything that has to do with Israel, we're taking it over. So even, even when the heathen, you know, they want to see all that stuff, our stuff is going to be popping up because we're taking over that hashtag. These are all hashtags are already established online movements. All we're doing is taking them over. The only time that we make up a hashtag is when we are campaigning. That's the only time, and we make up a make up a, a campaign that we're actually pushing. For example, hashtag Los Judíos Son Negros. That's that's a hashtag. I can actually hashtag that right now, and there's a lot of content um, content behind it. You see that? Los judíos son negros. There's a lot of content behind that. So, um, and and I'm the one who made that up. So, and, and the reason it's successful is is that even way after, you know, people were still using that hashtag. Um, but anyways, um, at least in English, Spanish not so much. But, but anyhow. That's that's pretty much the basics. Um, I'm gonna go more into boosting and everything else later, but that's the basics to just get us started.